Hi, I'm Chuck Dakota, and here on The Dakota Show, we have the one and only Pope Benedict the 16th to talk about religion in Italy. Hi, Pope. Hello, Chuck Dakota. I'm glad you have taken an interest in the religion of Italy. Although Roman Catholicism is a major religion in Italy, Ninety percent are Christians. Seven percent don't have a religion, and two percent are Islamic. While well, we may be eating burgers and fries and occasionally a Coke, in Italy they might be eating spaghetti and pizza. Those two things originated in Italy. To escape the hassles of a normal day, most Italians love to watch a game of soccer. Some people excel at the sport. But some aren't as lucky. Hey, you want to see what I can do? Sure, honey. Let's get it done. And now, daisies and pansies with Edgar. Italy is classified with the humid subtropical climate. The coastal region and most of the southern peninsula have a Mediterranean climate. Mountainous areas can be very cold, wet, and often snowy. Coastal regions have mild winters and warm and generally dry summers, although lowland valleys can be quite hot during the summer. What's this? The wind is blowing at a nice pace. Very nice indeed. I think I'll jump in the grass. And have a grass angel. Wow. Italy's major exports are motor vehicles, home appliances, and all other sorts of electronic gizmos. They also export firearms, aerospace, and defense tech. Chemicals, petrochemicals, electricity, and fashion. Good to know. But what about economy? In fact, Italy was ranked as the seventh largest economy in the world in the year 2006. Fascinating. E volver, volver! What do you do? What do you this? This is Italian, this isn't Spanish. Oh, Italian? Yeah. Alright, I got you. Painting has always been a hobby in Italy. One of the most famous artists, Leonardo da Vinci, influenced many people with his works of art, like the Mona Lisa and the Vitruvian Man. Let's see how our artist is keeping up with the pace. In May of 2007, Italy officially reached 59.4 million people. You've 
You've been late three times this week, Rodrigo. I'm sorry, sir. I'll pay back to you tomorrow. I'm sorry it has to be like this. But this is for La Familia. And it's too late to That's cool. Many Sicilians did not regard these men as criminals, but as role models and protectors, given that the state appeared to offer no protection for the poor and weak. Mafias were also called families. One leader stated, his mafia was not criminal, but stood for respect of the law, defense of all rights, greatness, character, it was love.